Hey YouTube and Sendar here. I'm gonna cover something today I see come up a lot in the comments and I get asked a lot in game as well. And it's how to get weeds in quantity. Asking for a guide on weeds. Weeds, weeds, weeds. So I did a lot of alchemy videos and I used to be pretty much into alchemy. I switched mostly to cooking. But there's a couple ways to get weeds. You'll always see the first couple guys that will say, hey, I'm a farmer. I've got 10 fields or, you know, 10 uh, farm things set up and I get 100,000 weeds or whatever. And that's extremely active. And if you have the 100 CP to use, that might be an alternative. I will try that at some point. I just haven't gotten around to rearranging my CP to do that test. But it does seem like people with uh, hundreds of thousands of those are usually farmers. However, there is uh, another way. I just want to start by saying that, uh, you know, there's a big argument. Why would you ever gather weeds? It's not as profitable as doing like sheep or mining or other things. And that is true. Uh, a lot of people look at it, you know, do something that's more profitable and then just have a market made. Or sit at the marketplace all day. You know, weeds pop up a lot and you can just buy them and that does work great. And if you do have a market made, this will actually really speed this up. So if you need tons of weeds, a, a good location, I think, is here by Northern Wheat Plantation. And I'll show you a couple different reasons why I like this location. It's just northeast of Calfion. Just to show you where we are here. Okay, so I'll start here in the tulip fields, which are huge and have tons of stuff to pick. Tulips, sunflowers, roses, which are in a plenty all around this area, can be used for cooking too, for uh, tea with fine set and whatnot. If you're looking more for the tulip, you'll want to use a magic hoe. If you're looking more for weeds, you're going to want to use just barehanded no tool at all. It's really quick without a tool. And you also get whatever the main item is too. That might depend on your gathering level, so if you're not really seeing that, you might have to level up your gathering a little. Gathering experience isn't that great on weeds, but it does move. There's also heaps of leaves all around here that give uh, multiple scrolls. It's up to you or not if you find them useful. I'm using two cats. So if you have those, they really help out here. As you can see, again, tulips and weeds. And you'll just want to run around here and get as many weeds as possible. And of course, you'll get the tulips, which are useful. For profit, this probably won't be the best in any means. You know, I'd say do sheep or something else. However, sheep and even rough stone, those, those areas can get pretty busy now. So if you're fighting over people, fighting with people, don't want to lose the karma or whatever. This might be a good alternative if you've got a you know, long day at work and you just want to farm, play a little Farmville. Great spot. Also tons of roses and stuff along here. I mean, you've got lots of stuff to choose from. A little north of the tulips, you'll have a potato patch. So if you're into cooking, you're going to get the weeds and the potatoes. Now, if you're mass producing beer, This is going to be pretty slow, but, and if I just run right across the road here, you'll notice, I believe this is corn, which is another cereal for beer or to make your flour and dough. So you've got a pretty big choice and you're never going to, you can actually set up some kind of rotation to where you never run out of stuff to gather. I mean, that's so super easy here. And even if multiple people were doing this, it's not going to matter because the spawn's so quick and there's just so many things to grab. So, here's another thing you might be interested in. If you got your pets out anyway, it might be worth just killing stuff just to pick up the occasional blackstone or drops. I think pigs can drop maybe their blood or their hide on a rare occasion. So if you're here anyway, you might as well just kill this stuff. Yeah, look at this, grapes. Yeah, a little further down we have some barley, which is yet another cereal. 
And here we've got paprika, which is counted as another vegetable. We've got a batch of sunflowers here. Okay, it looks like we've got cabbage too, which will be another vegetable. Yeah, this place has lots of stuff. Um, mixing this up with a market made is highly recommended. And for some reason, I always seem to have pretty good results on shards with barehanding. Click subscribe to get notifications whenever there's new videos. I'm in Sendar on the NA server if you want to contact me in game. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.